It has been a busy week on the Kingston Dock. But before we get down to business, can I just mention that more than half of you watching this update have not yet subscribed. It's entirely free and you won't have to put in half as much effort as this welder working on the ramp. The ramp and railings receive a lot of attention this week. On Wednesday though, attention turns to the face of the ramp, where mounting plates and pivot points are being positioned for the massive fenders to come. By Friday, attention had turned back to the railings. I'm sure some of you are wondering how things are going around the boarding bridge. The answer, of course, is very well. Work is also being done to level up the area adjacent. Leveling work wasn't confined to the north finger, it was happening at the top of the south too. There was work again this week on the electrical supply. The installation holding the 44 kilovolt switch received quite a lot of attention. Utilities Kingston would continue to work connectivity issues on Friday. It seemed likely too that the installation placed last week by the utility building was undergoing testing or perhaps calibration. We'll turn our attention now to the only concrete work observed this week. But don't give up, the best is yet to come. Preparations had been apparent for some time to pour a large section of sidewalk up close to Ontario Street. On a cold but sunny Friday, it all went very well. A grey day earlier, after an overnight dusting of snow, it was a considerable surprise to see a dive team present. 
ODS Marine have been setting a standard for commercial diving since 1981. They're not easily deterred. Their diver was considerably more cheerful in the circumstances than I would have been. It should go without saying that in this very serious business, it's a team effort and preparation is key. Entry to the water is remarkably rapid once all the preparations are complete. My only regret is that I have no idea what this diver was doing. I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.